This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Well, we have barely started her route. Okay. I was go I was actually contemplating ending the stream there, but no, we at least got to play for this scene. From above, I hear a strange warbling scream straight out of a kung fu movie. My first instinct is to suspect a terrorist attack of some sort. But there's nothing in the way of explosions or gunfire, so that seems fairly unlikely. Whatever the case, I cl you clearly need to investigate. Leaving my room, I immediately head for the stairs. I think some hooligans are starting a laugh riot. Can't deny the possibility, but there's no way to know for sure until we take a look. Let's go investigate. Unnecessary. Amine has no shame. Wait, what? Okay, stop talking and follow me. We'll know soon enough what she needs. Definitely hoodlums. I peer over Sachi's shoulder into the open washing machine. It's full of colorful toy cars a few inches in length. A handful would be weird enough, but at a rough estimate, there would be a good hundred of the things in there. Machina. You, you screamed at the top of your lungs because somebody kept their Hot Wheels collection in the washing machine? Seems oh, no, like an overreaction. <laughs> Amine, you're a Hot Wheels enthusiast? No way! That's actually kind of cool. Well, I can see you doing that, Sachi. Now that she mentions it, there are indeed a good dozen cardboard boxes stacked on top of the machine. Tell me, Sachi. Are these all full of model cars? Was that what all this fake tension was about? Amine, you are being such a drama queen right now. Our washing machine seems to be drowning in toys. Save the Hot Wheels! Hmm. Amine, my friend, what were you planning on doing with this massive collection of toys? Machina. Machina. <laughs> <laughs> Love the French music in the background. Oh, <laughs> a model car riot. Don't think I've heard that phrase before.私も最初は困惑しましたが、すぐにミニカーを使った一機のことだと分かりました。一機といえば少なくとも百人からの人が必要です。ですからこのコミネサチ、まずは百台のミニカーを集めるところからスタートしたのです。その作業は困難を極め
私はさまざまな玩具店に問い合わせありたけのミニカーの在庫を You thought I'd play Delta in Chapter 2? Nah, that's what everyone's doing. I don't want to jump on the bandwagon. Plus, I didn't play Delta in Chapter 1, at least on stream, so. That might be. Chapter 2 might be something I'll do in my off time, but I don't think I'll be streaming that. Or recording it. It's okay, Malakana will like these. How did they translate that? Yes, Miss Robot. Correct. <laughs> The only acceptable kind. <laughs> Why is Sachi freaking out so much? All color draining from her face, Sachi begins to quiver like a spastic jellyfish. Oh yeah, that's right. Now I remember. You spent over a thousand dollars on model car. How do you have that money? Amine, my friend! Sachi's face is currently the color of moldy vanilla yogurt. What do you plan to do about this? Okay, Sachi. Deep breath, sweetie. <laughs> oh my god. Perfect timing, Mitru. Well, what a, co what, what a lucky coincidence. Just as the crisis seems to be coming to a head, Mitru enters the scene with a blatantly unnatural line of dialogue. Turning her head to take in the horde of model cars now scattered all around the room, her she opens her eyes wide. So I need to know which personality of Michiru this is, if this is Sundari Michiru or other Michiru. Chilled cars? <laughs> So Mitra is actually good at resolving conflicts, believe it or not. Also creating conflicts, but still. <laughs> that was my favorite side quest in Breath of the Wild, getting 300 model cars in a day. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the verge of a miracle. <laughs> what a complete farce. It's like taking a conscious effort to keep my eyes from rolling. Okay, Mitru, that's like 110,000 yen. 
I can't tell if Mitra is the biggest idiot in the world, or freaking, like, <laughs> big brain genius. <laughs> this is <laughs> every trading quest in a game ever. It's like, oh my gosh, you've got the rotten beehive? I've been looking for a rotten beehive. Oh, but all I have is this engine grease. It's like, oh my gosh, you got your hands on engine grease? Now I can make my car move. Here, take the strongest sword in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just waiting for it to actually be a model car, a summer model car festival. That'll be our first date. Well, if they're really satisfied with this, I guess I'll keep my mouth shut. But seriously, now... Was Amine fooled by that? Okay, no, never mind. <laughs> Is that really an authentic Sundari attitude? I'm having some doubts. Okay, this looks like other Michiru. Except now she's flipping back and forth. I don't know. I'm confused. Yeah, hello. <laughs> it's still weird. Oh, look at the time Burger King's about to close. I gotta go. <laughs> Yuji's already gone. The restaurant's about to close. Hmm, well, if you have some solution to this, I'd honestly love to hear it. Yeah, you tell her, Michiru. <laughs> <laughs> I am too. I actually do not like Burger King at all. I just pulled it out because Burger King's an inherently funny name. <laughs> Five Guys is amazing. <laughs> her face contorted with anxiety, Michiru stumbles repetitively over her words. It's painful to watch, but I'm not sure how to intercede. And in the next moment, just to complicate things further, Makina po pokes her head into the room. <laughs> I knew she'd like the cars! <laughs> Makina, this is not a good time. Save it for later, alright? I'll, I'll explain later. You just came in at the wrong time. <laughs> 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 
Machina, we're leaving. Stop talking and come with... Yeesh, this took a deep, dark turn. She's like having a panic attack right now. Michiru, are you? For a long moment, Michiru stares fixedly at the floor in silence, her expression hidden by her veins. Judging from their astonished reactions, Amine and Makina haven't seen the girl act like this before either. But when Michiru finally speaks, the first word out of her mouth comes as yet another baffling surprise. Aha. Uh -huh. It's not just the abrupt attitude shift. Michiru's expression is like that of a completely different person. Everyone else in the room, myself included, is struck speechless. Amine blinks her eyes in utter confusion. I probably would have been just as baffled if this was my first time seeing this Michiru. But that's not the case. A vague understanding of the situation dawns on me. Huh. I see, so that's how it is. She has multiple personalities, Nick. I'm pretty sure that's how this is. So I'm pretty sure one of her personalities genuinely had like that massive breakdown. Then it switched to a different personality, and now she's trying to kind of smooth things over. Even if it was, that was not a funny joke. Oh, I'm out of water. <laughs> Could have fooled me for a minute there. Okay, I want to know how many personalities she has. Not actually, no spoilers, but that was me talking out loud. Wow. <laughs> gotta put him in the freezer. Obviously. I was joking. <laughs> You're just like, oh man, I'm really in the mood for something sweet. I think we have ice cream in here. You just open the freezer and Lightning McQueen is just staring at you. <laughs> Ah, okay. 
Okay. So we've only seen two personalities. So this is the quiet, demure one who is just acting like a tsundere. The moment the others stagger out of the laundry room, the smile's completely erased from Ichiru's face. She watches me with a serious expression, her tone of voice cold. Doesn't surprise me. I've got something I want to ask you myself. Yeah, fine by me. As instructed, I immediately make my way to the empty school building. Maybe now I'll finally get some real answers about what's been going on with my erratic young friend. Even as I'm settling in to wait, the door slides silently open and the girl in question enters. Mitru folds her arms and slowly, silently approaches me. She appears to be sizing me up somehow. Rather than taking a chair, she lowers herself onto a desk in front of me. We're at point-blank range, but she still hasn't said a word. This is kind of creepy, seeing, like, this distinct personality from Michiru. It's so unlike her. Well, no point waiting until the sun goes down. Instead of easing into the topic at hand, I try abruptly throwing her a bit of a fastball. You going to explain yourself? What the hell was that supposed to be? But as soon as the words leave my mouth, Michiru fires right back in an even more forceful tone of voice. An explanation? Me? Okay, now I'm really confused. Because this Michiru is aware of what we did to the other Michiru. But other Mi- but like... Uh, this is... Okay. Quiet Michiru is aware of what we did to Sundari Michiru, but Mi Sundari Michiru does not, is not aware of what we did to Quiet Michiru. This is inconsistent. Seems the girl's genuinely upset with me now. Completely incomprehensible. I was expecting you to give me some sort of an explanation, but instead it's just yet another lecture on responsibility. Michiru rebukes me in a vaguely disgusted tone of voice, almost like a big sister lecturing her brat of a brother on how to use his chopsticks. This coming from you? If I want to criticize my if you want to criticize my manners, shouldn't you explain who you are first? That little body swapping routine just now wasn't half bad, but it's not going to fool me. I assume you're aware of that. Well, I'm me. Not sure how else to answer that. Again with this, when I talk to the other Michiru, I always end up getting lost in fog, wandering straight off topic. But I'm not Alice, and this isn't the first time to be getting caught up in riddles. Okay, look, I've had enough of the riddling. Just because you're perching on top of a desk doesn't mean you need to croak at me like a crow. Doesn't mean anything. Listen, just answer the question, will you? That's the most basic rule of a coherent conversation. Some people feel that way, but it's hard to have a fair match without them. Here and now, for the purposes of this discussion, I think the two of us should be on even footing. You're swearing to obey the rules before you even hear them. That's... That's dangerous. Mitru imitates putting her hand on a Bible as she speaks. Hopefully this means we're finally going to get somewhere. Good. Rule number one, the first and only rule. Truthfully answer the following question. Who are you? You're definitely Michiru, but you're not the Michiru I know. Listen, I don't need any more banter. Just give me a yes or no answer. Are you Michiru? Michiru heaves a big, big deep sigh. Hops lightly down on her desk. After a moment of silence, she shrugs her shoulders expressively, silently communicating the words, You really are clueless, aren't you? Yes, 
これは謎かけじゃない。構造の問題。No, there's one clear answer to the answer, to the question, what's one plus one, and that's two. Again, we're assuming the numbers are in base ten here. Or at least base two or higher. You're talking around the main issue. Pushing out her lips in a mild pout, she continues with a clear tinge of displeasure in her voice. That's so. This is a problem. Seems the two of us are communicationally incompatible. I lower myself onto a chair and lean back in my I am listening pose. Sadly, I can't help but admit it. We're firmly in Wonderland territory here. Seems I have no choice but to play by her rules. Shame we don't have any tea. I'm sure your story's worth savoring at length. After thinking for a while, Michiru clears her throat with a little cough. I get the impression the girl just brushed away the conversation to this point, like so many errant particles of dust. What did I do? I wasn't the one who bought 300 model cars of Lightning McQueen. Yeah, I guess so. You just accepted that real quickly. Well, I'm still confused why she had the panic attack in the first place. Nothing really happened. Comfort. Want me to pet your head then? Or maybe I should get a big stuffed animal, put some candy in a stocking, and drop it down the chimney at Christmas? See, now I'm wondering if this is her actually her prime personality, and that's why she's aware of her alternate personality, what it's experiencing, but the alternate personality is not aware of what the prime personality experience. I don't. Again. I have no idea how alternate per multiple personality disorder works, and I'm pretty sure how it works in real life is not how it works in this game anyways. Comfort me like a gentleman. Can't say I've ever heard someone make a request like that on their own behalf before. People drop hints, but outright telling someone, I'm weak, comfort me, is more than a little unusual. Will that prevent any future problems? <laughs> Hold on, you're making this out to be my fault, but you're the one who started this. Michiru hesitates for a moment, but apparently decides that there's no use hiding it. She fires off the words as if eager to get them off her tongue. Really? I mean, I'm not really surprised. It's a dating scene. Hmm. If you say so. Quite a few, actually. There's a whole mountain of things I don't understand. But I don't trust this hitting wall to return my volleys properly. Lob a tennis ball at her, and you might as well get a watermelon flying back at you. No. Not for you, at least. I'll ask the girl herself tomorrow. Seems like it'll be faster that way. A gentleman? Well, thanks. The conversation apparently concluded. Michiru waves her hand vaguely in my general direction. 
はいこれあげる<laughs> she gonna give me one of the model cars of Lightning McQueen? Leaving a single model car behind on top of the desk, Michiru strides out of the classroom. It's like something out of a mystery novel. Completely beyond me. I'm a spectator of this on this ride, and the windows are opaque. I was hoping to get a handle on the situation, but it's impossible. Don't even feel like reading some escapist novel right now. The only thing I want to do at the moment is collect my thoughts without the risk of being disturbed. Which means... Guess I'll go for a little run. With a small sigh, I quietly close the story of the girl named Michiru, placing a bookmark between today and tomorrow. Well, that was really weird. <laughs> Definitely not how I expected the Michiru route to start off, must say. But there we go. That's the start of the Michiru route. You know what? That was a pretty fun stream. Things didn't get super uncomfortable at all. It They got kind of weird at times, but that was honestly, that was well done. This is going to be an interesting story. Thank you all for joining in. When I play this game, I can't stream for as long, just because visual novels in general, they, I need to process them, and because I'm talking so much, I can't stream for as long, otherwise I throw out my voice. All right, I'll leave you all there. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and God bless.